Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Create a rectangle. It will take the current fill and stroke. What you can now do is duplicate this. So layer and duplicate linked. And it's a special kind of duplication. And I can move it, just use the Move tool and shift it. Also I can select it again and go to Layer and Duplicate Linked. They're all linked. So any change to one will be changed in all of the others. Dimensions and rotations, no. But anything like gradients, they will change in all of them. So I can select this one, just select one. And also I can go down here to the Rectangle tool. So Rectangle tool, as soon as I do that, I can go here and I've got Single Radius. Go to the corner, this is along the control bar. I can say instead of none, I can go for rounded. They all become rounded, all of them. All become rounded at the same time. Also, you've got this interactive control, so I can just change that. You can also change it here as well. So corner, I can set that to 100% or 6% and so on. So I just move that back and forth. Also, I've got other options. I've got straight as well as concave and also cut out. But I also can change this single radius. I don't have to have them all change at the same time. All the shapes will change, but not all the corners. So single radius, turn that off. And now you can see you've got access to all four corners. Also, you've got the interactive control, as long as you've got the rectangle tool selected. So you can move that, just change that, and so you can create all kinds of quite unique shapes simply by modifying one corner. You can also change this setting, so concave. Got another shape. You can go to this one, maybe go for straight. And you can change this setting as well. And you can see that will change there. Now there will be limits sometimes, it suddenly will stop working. But you can go to this one. Maybe go for straight there. And you can modify that setting. So once you've done that, you can also change the fill, as well as the stroke as well. With the fill, you can go up here and you can modify the gradient. You can also change it to a solid color. But with the gradient, you can go to the gradient tool. So select the gradient tool. That's the gradient tool. And you can see you've got option there. It's a linear gradient. It's linear for all four shapes. You can go for solid, elliptical, but you can also go for bitmap. Now I'm gonna go linear first and just Modify that, and you can see what happens. It changes for all of them. So you can create some very unique designs using this approach. You've also got the option here, bitmap. So bitmap is great because you can bring in a PNG file or maybe other formats. I'm just gonna go with a PNG format, and this is an old brush design that I created. So click open, and now you can see that. And you can move it around, resize it, reposition it, and it will change for all the shapes at the same time. And you can see, rotate it like that. You've also got options here for mirror, as well as repeat, etc. You can also, if you go to layers, you've got down here, effects. You've still got this one layer selected. So down here, click effects, and you can say 3D. And 3D will happen to all of the shapes. So you can see what happens. You get this lovely 3D effect applied. Also, outer shadow. So change the radius, set it to the max. You can also add gradient overlay into it. So you've got a lovely gradient design now. Also, you can go here, blending modes. So just run through that. Maybe go for difference. And you can change the scale, you can change the angle, and so on. And they all change for all of the shapes. Click close.